This is why I train in martial arts. Maryland has the use of deadly force. So let's take a look real quick. I'm going to paraphrase at these points that are right here first. And I'm going to put the Wikipedia link in the description. The accused must have reasonable grounds to believe himself in apparent or imminent danger or seriously bodily harm from his assailant or potential assailant. The accused must have, in fact, believed himself in, in this danger. The accused claiming the right of self-defense must not have been the aggressor or provoked the conflict. This is Maryland, not Florida. Before the force used must have been it must not have been unreasonable and excessive. That is, the force must not have been more force than the ex exigency demanded. I like to sum, to sum all that up by saying you can't go crazy just because you're defending yourself against somebody. Maryland has this unique thing that's called, well, it's not that unique. It's called the duty to retreat. Okay. And we have in Maryland what's called the castle doctrine which says that, you know, your, your home is your castle and you can protect it. But if you're outside of your house, eh, you have to try to not escalate or get into the fight before you, uh, you know, you, you can't just say, oh, well, they pushed me so I can cave their face in. Maryland also follows the common law. This is on the duty to retreat in the castle doctrine. Maryland also follows the common law rule that outside of one's home, a person, before using deadly force and self-defense, has the duty to retreat or avoid danger if such means were within his power and consents consistent with his safety. But let's go down to the second paragraph. But if a person does not have to retreat, if it would not be safe to do so. Common sense, right? The duty to retreat also does not apply if one is attacked in one's own home. So you can't go to somebody else's house starting anything and thinking that they don't have a right to use whatever force is necessary to protect themselves or the people in it. So please take a look at this page. Let me roll this down. Now you can't see the URL. Let's go to, I'm going to put the link in the description on Wikipedia. Please take a look at that. Now I also have found, like I said in the other Andrew Bronca video, I found a, another Holy Grail where he's specifically talking about self-defense law in Maryland, and this does pertain to martial artists. Is this Joseph Walker case in Maryland uh, that I mentioned earlier, uh, where these two men had both pulled over their cars on the side of the road after getting angry with each other, and uh, one of them approached, walked up to the other's vehicle, and the other person shot him. Uh, to my mind, uh, the, the person claiming self-defense, the person who did the shooting, could simply have gotten back in their car and driven away. When, uh, when the person they shot was on foot and escaped safely. And Maryland is one of the minority of American states that does impose a duty to retreat. So if, if that case had happened in Florida, he could have claimed stand your ground status to avoid having to retreat, and that would have been a genuine stand your ground case. But it just it doesn't happen that often. Oh, by the way, that's what I would have done. If someone wanted to pull over, and I was thinking, all right, let's pull over. Let's see if I can get them to pull over, and then when they get out the car, I'm gonna leave. That's 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 a that's a Cecil trick. The Cecil trick is not just cutting throats like in that other video I said from um, Into the Badlands. It's also if I can trick you into wanting to fight, and I don't really want to, you commit to it. I don't. You commit to it. I leave. Cause it's not it's not worth it. It's it's just not. So please take a look at this stuff that has pertained to Maryland. Maryland is not a stand your ground state. My classes are taught in Maryland. It's not a stand your ground state. You have a duty to retreat. Duty to retreat doesn't mean that you just, uh, you know, you try to leave when it's a bad situation. So if you have any further questions about that, you have to talk to an attorney. If you have any questions about learning martial arts, you can talk to me. Come and take a class for less than a tank of gas. Learn to use your hands and be slow, cause won't kick your, you know, cheaper than a car note or any other bills. See, Sue, will you type one located in Temple Hills? 
Go to the Temple Hills Community Center and register for the Taekwondo class. Call 301-894-6616. You want to find out more? Go to cecilryu.org, cecilryu.org. Peace.